I grew up in what many people would consider a vacation destination. Along the North Carolina Outer Banks, I grew up immersed in a beautiful coastal landscape. As I grew older, I came to appreciate all this landscape had to offer and how much an individual could gain from interactions with their natural environment. After college, I had the unique experience of working a variety of jobs in the environmental science sector. From science writing in Washington, DC, to teaching science education along the coasts of Malibu, to investigating environmental management in the Mojave Desert, these experiences helped me gain a deeper understanding of the connections between humans and their various impacts on the planet. I initially became interested in public health after learning about delayed reproductive development in fish living in waters contaminated by estrogen from hormonal birth control. Prior to hearing about this, I'd never considered how pharmaceuticals, something we consider so beneficial for human health, could disrupt the natural world. And I would come to find out that there are far too many examples of similar phenomenon occurring all over the world. When we think of how humans harm the earth, the obvious pictures come to our mind. We see the pumping of fossil fuels into the atmosphere, the dramatic images of melting ice caps in the Arctic, and the tons of plastic trash that are pumped into the oceans. In learning more about the impacts of humans on the environment and how chemicals, debris, and waste circulate through ecological systems, I discovered that this cycle eventually ends with impacts on human health. My interest in public health stemmed from the investigations of connections between pollution, ecological cycles, and human health. That interest led me to pursue my master's of science degree in environmental health at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, where I've become involved in various research projects to uncover the links between environmental exposures and human health outcomes. My master's thesis work is focused around how exposures to perfluorinated compounds like PFOS and PFOA in the environment impact the human immune system. I'm also currently working on an independent study to investigate how the popularized climate mitigation strategy, solar geoengineering, could potentially affect human health. I've been lucky to find a home here at Harvard where there are so many passionate students and faculty who are driven to pursue climate science, environmental protection, and sustainability from a variety of angles. And I can't wait to see how we all change the world for the better.